I am a little upset with you, Chicky. Why, you ask? Because yesterday when I read, I am important, you told me how to pronounce the author's name, but you tricked me. And I had told you I didn't want any of your jokes yesterday. You told me her name was pronounced Talona, but it's not. It's pronounced Talana, you silly chicky. Oh, it's okay. I forgive you. And I'm sure Talana forgives you also, chicky. So, today, can you not joke around with me and tell me the correct pronunciation, which we already said it's Talana, not Talona, you silly chicky. Okay. So, Chicky, what's the book for today? Oh, that is going to be a great book. It's called You Matter, Teaching Children Self-Worth. And the author is Talana Coleman. Well, Chicky... It's gonna be hard to read while I hold you at the same time. So where would you like to sit? Up on the tree or up on the ledge or on the couch or on my head? Oh, you silly chicky, you can't sit on my head. What was I thinking? Okay, you can sit on the ledge so you can really see me read the story. So I'm gonna put you up here. Hopefully he doesn't fall. I don't think he will though. You Matter, author Tolana Coleman, illustrated by Saqib J. I'm excited, are you excited? This is going to be a great book, I can't wait. Do you matter? Do you really want to know? Yes, I really want to know. Who do you see when you look into the mirror? I'm not sure who I see. Really? Yes, really. Well, let me think again. Okay, I know. I see nobody. I see someone who is not important and not favored by many. This makes me so sad. Let's clean your mirror and then let's look into this mirror together. I'll tell you who I see when I look at you. I see worthiness. I see a person that is good enough and worthy of love. As I look over your shoulder at your reflection in the mirror staring back at us. Take a look. You're confident, caring, and smart. Am I? Yes, you are. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in him. Jeremiah 17, 7. I see a person who God has created for his purpose. I see a strong and courageous reflection made in the image of our Father. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Genesis 1, 27. The chatter of others may try to shake you, but remember that God has great plans in store for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. You can't control the opinions of others, but you have control as to how you see yourself. Now I ask you again, do you matter? Without a doubt! Yes, I matter. My uniqueness far exceeds my flaws. I see myself as confident, ambitious, fearless, empowered, and a change maker that will change this world for the better. Oh, yes, that's how I see myself. My faith in God gives me assurance to believe in myself. I respect myself because... God loves me and believes in me and has given me all I need to believe in myself. God has validated me. So there's no reason for me to look to anyone for approval. God knows my name and my future looks promising. And guess what? I love me and let me remind you. Yes! I matter. My life is the work of God's hand. Yet you, Lord, are our father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Isaiah 64, 8. God is busy molding us and shaping us to be perfectly flawed. No, we're not perfect, but God is shaping us to be used for his purpose and glory. We have flaws and God still loves us. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the work of your hands. Psalm 138, 8. I have God's permission to be all he has created me to be. I have been given the authority by God to matter. After all, Jesus loves me, this I know. And how do I know? The Bible tells me so. Thank you for taking time to encourage me and now know that you are a friend who cares with a godly heart. Pass this message on. You matter, you are important, and you have purpose. God knows who he is calling you to be, and your future looks radiant. We matter because God cares. God created mankind and loves all of us. It doesn't matter what we look like. He loves us all the same. Take the next step and love someone today. When we understand our self-worth in the Lord, we understand that without the Lord, we are nothing. And with the Lord, we are everything. Help others to love themselves as God loves them. You matter and you are important. Encourage someone today. It may be the sunshine that will brighten their day. Remember, encouragement instills courage and a sense of self-motivation. It also tells others that they are loved and that we each truly matter. We have the Lord's permission to love ourselves and to be all he has created us to be. We have been given the authority by God to matter. We are important to God and will always matter. 
Wow, what a great message, boys and girls. And you know what else this says? You matter. Wait a minute. I think I know a song to sing instead of just reading it. Are you ready? Okay, if you know it, sing along. If not, watch again and again so you can learn the song and you can sing with me next time. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. You matter, you matter. Yes, you do. You matter, you matter, and you better believe it too. You matter, you matter. Yes, you do. You matter, you matter, and you better believe it too. Oh, yes, you matter. We all matter. And... I want to show you something that I made for you. And you can make this yourselves with the help of your parents or maybe you can do it by yourself. But it's very simple to make and you can write any message on it, any motivational message, um, or you can simply write the title of the book, You Matter, um, because you do matter. And it's good to have reminders to remind yourself that you are loved by God and that you matter to God and everybody. So are you ready to see what I made you? Okay, here it is. It's a heart and it says you matter because you do. You can decorate it however you want to decorate it. You can use whatever color paper. And if you don't know how to make a heart, all you do is you fold a piece of paper in half and then you cut. You can always get help doing it because it's kind of tricky at first. So why don't you ask for help? And then once you learn, you can do it yourself. But you matter. And I hope you enjoyed this story, You Matter, by Talana Coleman. Thanks, Chicky, for not joking around with me today. <laughs> you can find this book on Amazon. Please go get your copy today. And... Have a blessed day. I look forward to sharing many more amazing stories with you. Please join my tribe and subscribe so you do not miss out on any exciting stories to come. Have a blessed day and we and I shall see you soon.